It blew us away. We are so excited, we can't stand it. Thank you. Said, we're in our eighth month. It's like a miracle. We owe it all to Dr. Talbert. Uh, according to the records, uh, you had a miscarriage? He went on the Nautilus. Dr. Delbert insisted I stop working out. Were you on the hormone treatments at the time? Infertility wasn't my problem. We had to find someone to fertilize Beth's eggs. And Delbert had the answer. Donor number 2133X. Artificial insemination. It's the best relationship I ever had with a man. I thought it was supposed to be anonymous. That's exactly my point. I gotta ask you, don't you ever wonder? Why would I? Dr. Delbert assured us the donor's healthy. Well, I just hope he didn't get around too much. Dr. Delbert told us a donor's sperm is used four times tops. Mm. In a city of eight million, what are the odds our son will ever meet one of his sisters, let alone have a baby with her? Look, we couldn't find out who the father was even if we wanted to. It's strictly confidential. All we know is he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, no criminal record, and he's a Roman Catholic. Hey, don't forget, he's got Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> Three years of hormone treatments. Nothing. You'd think she'd catch on. Hey, I'm still waiting for Ed McMahon to show up at my door. Well, the louder the biological clock ticks, the richer Dr. Delbert gets. Here's one. Six months on a juice. Twins. Could be Delbert just got lucky. The uh, two girlfriends. Who'd they say the donor was? Donor number 2133X. I just found the baby's half-brother, John Joseph de Sousa. He lives down the block from them. Well, you think we should tell him? What's the point? He might not have Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here's another one. Donor number 2133X. This guy gets around. A little more than he should. I got three more. You're kidding. I got one. I got two. Didn't Dr. Delbert tell his patients he only used each donor four times? Oh my God. It's like bad science fiction. Now, are you absolutely sure? There are 42 women artificially inseminated with the same donor's sperm. I gotta believe they expected a little variation. We're talking fraud. And we'd have a great case if we actually knew about any of this. Excuse me. We have the medical records. 42 babies can call Mr. 2133X daddy. Only the subpoena was limited. We were entitled to use the medical records to obtain the names of women with miscarriages, period. Outside of that, everything on those records is inadmissible. There are perhaps seven reputable infertility clinics in the five boroughs. As far as I know, we do the testing for all of them. You did the work for Dr. Delbert too, didn't you? He was high volume. Uh, when he dropped maybe 75% three years ago, I figured his business was off. And then two years ago, he went down to zero. I assumed he found some out-of-town lab to do the work. Or he decided it wasn't necessary to keep testing. <laughs> well, then I hope he has a good lawyer. Do you know what the odds of having an infected baby are if an egg is fertilized by an HIV-positive sperm? You don't want to know. People are paranoid, and for good reason. Why is the testing so expensive? Well, the way it works is we receive the donor sperm. We freeze it for 60 days, then we test it. It is expensive and time-consuming, but it's also the safest way known to medical science. Open up medical records. I'm sure you've heard of doctor-patient privilege. Which is supposed to protect the patient. There's a possibility that Dr. Delbert was using infected sperm. Infected as in? Dr. Delbert stopped running HIV tests on donor sperm two years ago. My God. This is a licensed physician? If any of the babies are infected, Delbert's acting with reckless disregard. It's a crime. It can't be privileged. And if none of them are infected, we have disregarded one of the tenets of personal freedom. Somehow, I think the parents will thank us for it. Hmm. It can't be. You're wrong. 
I hope I am too, Mrs. Cooper, but I think we should be safe. Blood tests. Dr. Delbert told us that the donor was healthy. We didn't have to worry. We have reason to believe that Dr. Delbert has been less than honest. No. He gave us Dennis. He wouldn't lie. He couldn't. I don't have to listen to you. No, you don't. But if it were my son... There are times when I love this job. 31 blood samples, all HIV negative. Thank you for small favors. I should tell the parents. No need. I already received 17 bottles of champagne and eight bottles of scotch. A bearer of good news. Well, it wasn't all good. It's the strangest thing. 25 of these babies are CF carriers. What's CF? Cystic fibrosis. It's a recessive trait like blue eyes. Uh, They'll never show any symptoms, but if they happen to make babies with another carrier... The disease will show up. Two carriers connect. Uh, it's uh, one in four chance the kid will be affected. CF carriers are a very small part of the population, but still, it's a risk. If they're a small part of the population, isn't it odd that so many of these babies are carriers? Well, it's either a cause for an article in the New England Journal of Medicine, or... They're all related. Looks like the Chinese wall just came tumbling down. You talk, I can't. At least 25 of Dr. Delbert's patients were inseminated with the same sperm. Thank God. Ah, I'll buy the champagne. You'll buy the whole dinner. There's no way these women would have agreed to this. I'm sure we can make a case for fraud. Is that all you found? Well, there's more? A lot. Dr. Delbert stopped testing the sperm for the HIV virus. Oh, my God. Fortunately, not one of the babies is infected, but I was thinking, why would someone as smart as Dr. Delbert take such an enormous risk? One infected baby, his entire practice heads south. Well, he was lucky the donor was healthy. Or he was sure. Come on, Jack. I've seen at least 12 public service announcements a day telling me that's impossible. Think about it. In this day and age, how could you be sure of anyone? This son of a bitch is using his own sperm. <laughs> 